Hello people, welcome back to my channel Fitness Geek and in today's video we are doing a technical tutorial so uh, this will be basically a installation of SQL Server Management Studio and Azure Data Studio so uh, previously we used to have a SQL Server Management Studio installed from the database uh, binaries that we used to get but uh, starting from I think 2016 uh, we have the binaries for SQL Server Management Studios uh, available separately to download and install. So, uh, in the previous version, 18.7, uh, they introduced Azure Data Studio part of the SQL Server Management Studio uh, binaries. So, when you install uh, SSMS, you get the Azure Data Studio as well. So, today what we are doing is we will install SQL Server Management Studio 18.8. So it will also give us Azure Data Studio. After installation, we will connect to the database and we will see how you can connect using SSMS and also Azure Data Studio. So let's begin. So just go to Google and type SQL Server Management Studio, download. You'll get the first link, use that. So if you go through this page to download, you will see that SSMS 18.8 8 has got Azure Data Studio as well. So from beginning of SQL Server Management Studio 18.7, Azure Data Studio is automatically installed. So it's part of the SSMS binaries. That's what it says. And so what we are doing, do, going to do is we'll install 18.8 uh, .8 and we'll download and install 18.8, .8, which will give us Azure Data Studio. So Azure Data Studio is a cross-platform, so it doesn't matter whether you are on Windows or uh, you are on Linux or you are using Mac, you can uh, download and install Azure Data Studio. So let's just download the SSMS binaries, click the link and we will wait for it to get downloaded and then we'll start installing it. Right click the binaries and run as administrator as always all right so we are ready to install if you see it says uh, release 18.8 .8 Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio with Azure Data Studio so we will install SSMS as well as Azure Data Studio you can change the location the default location is C program files Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio 18 so it goes into the X a to 6 folder you can change that but I will keep it as default if you want you can change the uh, location of your uh, installation but I would uh, keep the default we'll go ahead and start the installation let's click on install And it starts the installation process it will take us some time it will load the packages and the installation will begin meanwhile you can go through the documentation and uh, you can read about it uh, when it was introduced and how Azure Data Studio became a part of uh, I mean when it became a part of SSMS installation files so the installation is in progress and I will try to fast forward this and we will jump into the completion of the installation. So we'll fast forward this and we'll move to the end page. So installation is complete. We will need to restart our system. Let's go ahead and do that. We have restarted our system and have logged in again. We'll go and look for our uh, in, uh, SSMS and Azure Data Studio, whether they are installed or not. Let's go and check in our folders, SQL Server Tools. I can see the Management Studio installed. Let's open it. Let's go up. We can see Azure Data Studio as well. We'll open that later let's not import anything do not import so 
So I have got an instance of SQL Server running on my system. So that if uh, it takes the default uh, laptop name. So this is my instance uh, laptop, a few bunch of numbers. So uh, as you know, how to connect when you select the server type, you can connect to a database engine or analysis services or integration services. You can connect any of those using SSMS. Uh, we would connect to the database engine. In server name, it will automatically pop up your uh, local instance or you can go and search for it. If you search for the local server's uh, database engine, you will be able to find your instance. Once you have done that, uh, authentication type, you have got five authentication types. The Windows authentication, SQL Server authentication, Azure Active Directory that will be used for uh, your, uh, your uh, Azure SQL databases. So for now, we'll just go with the Windows authentication and we'll connect. So there you go, you are able to connect to the database instance. Let's see what all databases we have. We have got the sample AdventureWorks 2014 database. Uh, I'll quickly run a small query. I mean, as a database admin, you usually use uh, the system procs. So I'll do a SP help DB. Let me open a new query window. SP underscore help DB. And yep, you get the list of databases. Let's open Azure Data Studio. Azure Data Studio, as I told before, it's a cross platform uh, client. So you don't uh, have, to, I mean, if you are having Mac, uh, you can still download it to connect to a SQL database. So I'll open a new connection, connection type, Microsoft SQL Server, server name, I can give the server name, uh, localhost, or you can give the host name that uh, you found here. So if you want to fetch the server name, what you can do is uh, do select at the rate, at the rate server name, you will get the uh, uh, instance name. So that's what we'll copy and we'll paste it in server. So you have three options here, SQL login, Windows authentication, and Azure Active Directory with MFA. That will be used in Azure SQL mostly. Let's connect to master. And there you go. You are now connected. You can see the databases, the system databases, the user databases. Let's open a query window and do the same sp underscore help db. And you can see the databases just exactly how we saw it in SSMS. Select at the rate, at the rate, server name. Run the query laptop name so that's how you query the database using uh, ssms and azure data studio i'll give you a few tips from the dba side uh, how you connect to a local instance there are different ways to do that uh, actual server name or if you just give a dot you will connect to the local instance If you query that, it will give you the local instance name. You can connect to the local instance using the local host as well. Local host, you are connected to the same instance. Select and the right server name. Oh. So uh, yeah, this, this is how you can connect to the local instance. I mean, just this is just a, bit, a few tricks that uh, I shared. So that's it. Uh, that's all from today's tutorial and I hope you liked it. 
and if you have any questions regarding the installation do let me know and yes thank you uh, thank you for all the support uh, thanks for watching and keep supporting Bye.